yeah, Brad from Screenline. I'll just run through with you how to install your fence extension kit. So what you get in the pack is the panel. This is a 300 high lattice panel, also available in 600. And that there's a 600 high slack panel, which when installed correctly is pool safe. That's available in a 300 high as well. And then the other thing you get, that's your top rail, goes on top of whichever panel you choose. One of those. Two post extension pieces. Two uh, post, ex post sleeve extensions. And there's some screws, the right colour screws to go with your kit. As far as tools go, what you need there is a, a battery drill or a um, electric screwdriver, battery screwdriver, and uh, with a tech screw bit to match the screws, and um, tape measure, and if you're going to need to cut anything to specific size, you could use a grinder or pull tin snips, and any personal protective equipment that you may need to do the job safely. Alright, so step one is to remove the existing tech screws from the top rail of your fence. And then get the post extension sleeve and put the short leg facing to the front. Push them about halfway down. So you've got approximately as much in the fence as you've got above the fence, and then put the screws back in again. So step two is we install the post extension. So this is a universal 50 millimeter post extension. You can get a 60 millimeter, but the one we're showing you in here is a 50 millimeter. And this just goes straight over the extension sleeve like that. Or this one's a 300 high. If you've got a 600 high kit, then it works exactly the same. Just got 600 high. So in this case, we'll put this. 300 high one on. Grab us some screws. <coughs> so we put the extension in today. And the screw. Other one. And that's your step two done. So step three is installing the screen panel. Now just before you before you do that, the important part on this is the smaller lip, which is this one down here must be at the bottom, the bigger one at the top, and the bigger one's the one with the holes in it, must go to the top. So watch it in there, lift it in.
and that's it for now for that step or if you've got a 600 high panel or the slack panel it goes in exactly the same way so that's your step three it's just the, the panels in just like that hang on a minute just remember though if you're doing a pool safe things change a bit if, if the pool is on this side of the fence have a look at the end the angle here that step the small lip needs to be pointing to the neighbor's yard and it's critical to get this stage right or else your fence will not comply with pool safety so when we install this this front edge of the panel needs to be flush with the front edge of the rail so when installing it So this edge needs to be flush with the front face of this if you want your panel to be pool safe. Which simply means you've got to go around the other side to screw the lip down, which we'll show you in the next, the next step. So step four is to install the top rail. Put that over the top and just make sure that the, the lip of the lattice panel inside the rail. And then we screw that into position, just raising the rail slightly to make it flush with the top of the rail. Then to finish, it, to finish the job off, we just put two screws through the bottom lip of the panel. Just about a third of the way in from either side approximately. And then last of all, two screws through the top to stop it from rattling. There we go, job done. So at, at the end of the job, when you're finished, for extra rigidity on your post extension, you get an um, extension bit for your screwdriver and put one screw in here. Like that. And the other one in here. It a whole lot more rigid, finishes it off well.